So it's so funny because at lunch I felt like I was in a, a Latin America. Oh la la! <laughs> Hello guys, we are in Stamford, Connecticut with our dear friends, Alban Johnny, who have made our journey very, very enjoyable. Thank you guys for picking us up, taking us out here. We're about to jam on a conference uh, for small business owners, medium-sized business owners here in Stamford, Connecticut that want to improve their businesses. And uh, so we're gonna do that today. We're gonna do this conference. We're about to do a little lunch and then a conference, so we're excited. And uh, we'll see you there. Welcome to Stanford, Connecticut. Oh, it's the monkey. Ah, okay, super bien. Bro, we're in Connecticut. Ha. Ciao, guys. Connecticut para siempre. All right, here we go. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. So this is a this is a really important question. If you all, if we all, never had to think about money, never had to worry about money what would you do? Okay? That's probably your passion. Now, travel is an answer that I get all the time, which is fine. Here's where I want to challenge you all. And whether you're starting or you have a business, this is where it gets really fun. You can create content around travel, but there are millions and millions and millions of other people doing that, right? So how do we make you unique? How do we bring out your story? So let's go, let's, let's, I'm gonna stay with you for a second. Instead of saying travel, what else, when you're traveling, where are you going? What are you doing? How are you spending the day? What would make you really excited about the travel? Because here's the thing, a lot of people say travel and then on day four of their year long trip, they're bored out of their minds. And they're like, oh, I need purpose. Like I can't sit on one more beach, I can't take one more selfie, I can't eat, drink one more margarita. Like I need to be challenged. So what would it look like for you? Well, I'm also into philanthropy work. So Perfect, so now we're getting closer. So now we have travel and we have philanthropy. And then what else are you into? Eating. Eating, and what else are you into? <laughs> Keep going, this is good. Family. Family, Keep going. Friends. Friends, keep going. So here's what's happening. Every one of us has one, two, three, four, five, six, some cases, seven things that we care about pretty deeply. So I actually am a firm believer, for those of you that are looking for your purpose, that there is a thing that we can do where we find the intersection, the middle of all of those passions. And that becomes the place that we start to focus to create our content, right? So all of us, and you know, the, the thing that prevents so many people from starting something that they love is because they, and I hear this all the time, they say, I have too many things that I love. And I say, this is where you need to think creatively and think about where all those things come into play. So maybe what you do is you start a group of traveling family members that start a philanthropy that goes to different places around the world to serve and it's, you know, you do a, a, whole, a whole reality series around that. That's, you know, hearing seven of your things and coming in here. So the question I have for all of you is, what are your things? I love entrepreneurship. I love Latin America. I love speaking Spanish. I love inspiring people. I love being at conferences. So what did I do? I created a bilingual brand that teaches about entrepreneurship in Latin America, in Spanish, and that's a huge part of my business now, right? So it's all so easy to create. 
if we think outside of the box of, ah, I have seven things I like, so I can't start any of them. No, take the seven things you like and combine them. Every single one of you, every single one of you needs to have a Facebook professional page, a public page. Why? A couple different reasons. So number one, in a personal Facebook page, you actually only reach between one and 3% organically of your following. So if you have a hundred friends, only one of them to two of them to three of them are going to actually see what you're posting. It's very low, but if you have a professional Facebook page, a public figure page, then you can run ads and the ads on Facebook right now are so unbelievably inexpensive. So you want to know where you should be putting your, your marketing money, Facebook, all of it. The, the market does not care if you're black, if you're orange, if you're yellow, if you're white, if you can add value and if you can educate a country and if you can make somebody feel great about their hands and their feet and their souls and whatever else it is, their, their new house, the place that they're going to spend the next 50 years living with their family. Like if you can make people feel good about the thing that you're offering, they will buy from you and they will buy from you today. So I beg all of you to start to really feel into what your power is, to figure out how to get that message out, to learn Facebook advertising, to learn how to shoot selfie videos, to learn how to run Facebook ads. Hay miles y miles y miles de videos en Google and YouTube donde tú puedes decir, ¿Cómo puedo vender mis servicios como coach en Facebook? Videos. Because I just think that with so much pain in the world, we have a chance to be light. And I just want to suck that opportunity every single second of every single day. So I thank you for your attention. Muchas gracias por tu atención. Y let's go get it. Gracias. Thank you very much. No, my Thank pleasure. you very much. Oh, Such a pleasure. How are you? Para no olvide lo dominicano. Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm... Estamos live. Sí, soy Cristi Soto, super feliz celebrando aquí. You and I, we're always on the edge. We fight and make love at the same time. Would you break up just because I told you what I did?